The Nickel State football team had one of its best seasons in program history this year after winning the conference championship and making it to the second round of the FCS playoffs. Southland Conference Offensive Player of the Year and junior quarterback Chase Fulcade knows when the offense started clicking midway through the year, it would help take this team to a whole new level. The offense this year, I thought we did a great job towards the end of the year. Uh, there's, you know, the last five, six games, we, uh, you know, we, we put up points and we, we just all just did our job, executed well, and, you know, they kind of, I know defense kind of feed off of them as well, just the momentum of the games that we played in that we put up points early. And it showed late in the game with us just not even going out for the fourth quarter or getting out the game early in the fourth quarter. It just all showed how well we played, uh, like I said, those last five, six games. Even though the Colonels fell short of the ultimate goal of a national championship, senior Ronald Ali knows the team was very special and thrived off camaraderie and pure love for one another. We was together as a team. I learned that uh, we was out there giving it all, all every game and just playing our heart out for each other, you know, and just being strong for each other, you know, and uh, uh, coming short of the ultimate goal was, you know, Eric don't nobody want to come short, but sometimes that happened, but I think we still made a lot of history, made a lot of noise, and, and we all would be legendary. Sophomore Kevin Johnson is thankful for the graduating seniors and how they took him under their wing, and now Johnson is ready for a role reversal and the opportunity to step up and lead the team with so many seniors departing. When I first got here, you know, I was very sure so a lot of them took me under their wing to show me, you know, how deep the book you ran, uh, you know, coming off that red shirt season. As a sophomore, you know, I took a big role on special teams and, you know, they were speeding me in the right direction. Even though the ones that played that uh, went through the red shirt process, you know, it was just a big um, leadership thing with that. And, you know, by me going through the experience, I feel as though I can help the red shirts that came off that shirt and, you know, do the same thing. Much like Johnson, 4K knows the departing group of seniors were a clear example of what Colonel football now represents and set an example for upcoming Colonels to follow. A lot of thanks. Uh, those are the guys, those are the reason why I came here to play, uh, you know, with Ryan and JP at Rumble and then seeing them go to Nichols and doing what they did first year. I just it had it on my mind that I can do the same thing. And, you know, a lot of guys like his and Amani Martin that I saw I catch a pick, the Southeastern game of my senior year in high school, I went to the game and I, I saw him catch a pick there. And then the next year, I'd be on the same team as him. But yeah, it's a lot of thanks, man. They, but like you said, they, they laid the foundation down for this successful program in the future. And you know, I, I, it's just a lot of a lot of guys I'm gonna miss. But uh, you know, like I said, I can't thank them enough for just the job they've done and how hard they, you know, they work to overcome adversity and to bring, eventually bring a ring to this to this program. The Colonel football team returns 11 starters, mainly on the offensive side of the ball, headlined by quarterback Chase Fulcade and running back Dontrell Taylor. But there are lots of defensive players who are ready to step up and fill the void left from the departing seniors. With KNSU TV, I'm Ryan Price.